up, dudes? It's Jaw Breed. Taking bear for a walk. <laughs> it's been a pretty, pretty crazy week. Um, finally figured out how to put Trassi out. Thanks, Mr. Donalds. Uh, I'm dealing with the, uh, this recovery. Like, fuck. Yeah, depression recovery. I don't really have depression. Uh, the common understanding of depression, like I have clinical depression. Like my uh, the different portions of my brain have been slowly disconnected from each other. I started having seizures, <laughs> and uh, I was given a pill. I was told that that pill didn't work. And then uh, he had other ones. So basically I had to spend, thanks so much, been spending the past 10 years trying to stop having seizures and stop having to spend $300 a month on fucking pills. <coughs> so anyway, I kept doing that, kept doing that. I'm begging my neurologist to tell me what the fuck. Just as a side note, this happened at work and um, he even went so far as to tell me not to go to WCB because, you know, stress doesn't cause seizures. Uh, anyway, uh, I went on. I ended up treating myself pretty well. I, I cut my, come on bear. I cut my medication down to a third. Um, because, you know, I... I'd actually graduated to reading scholarly papers on my issue and uh, found one that pretty much perfectly fit my situation that uh, didn't really make me happy, but it did allow me to cut my, my meds. And it got to the point where I literally couldn't care. It was, um, the fact of the matter was my, my amygdala was disconnected from the rest of my brain. <laughs> and, uh, for the most part. And I, I, I couldn't care. <laughs> I was physiologically unable to care. I got kids over here. I don't want to film them. <sighs> and this is shit I had to figure out all by myself. I mean, I got a psychiatrist because, you know, I fucking had a problem. You know, he helped. I mean, I thought I was schizophrenic. Like, it was out of hand. <coughs> but, um... Yeah, it's just generalized anxiety disorder. No, 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 no. So whatever, I do the research and treat it myself. I got him in the background, and there was one point, I fucking, something happened. I was pissed, I was right fucking triggered. Like just fucking, and I was, I was right to be pissed. Like it was... The thing about Manitoba is they'll do whatever the fuck they want to you. Because you really can't do a fucking thing about it unless you can afford a lawyer. So yeah. Something happened. And I noticed after this happening, something strange happened. This prior to this happening, you know, something would something would Something would trigger me, and it would take, fuck, it would take weeks, bro. It would take weeks. I'd be pacing, and fucking couldn't stop thinking about it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but this time, I didn't care. Once it was over, it was fucking over. I go to talk to him about it. I'm like, I'm fucking astonished. Like, holy shit, how did this happen? He fucking tells me. Well, John, 
maybe, maybe you've just had enough. You know, I'm sitting there like, bro, I'd had enough before this fucking started. Okay. People like freaking out, right? They like to, you know, power trip and shit like that. But me, I, I don't like fucking embarrassing myself by freaking the fuck out all over the goddamn place and trying to act like I'm something I'm not, which is fucking worse or owed more than the next guy, right? This is fucking Canada. I'm not in the fucking States. <sighs> so whatever, he gives me that piece of advice. And it's just like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, yeah, I just, I just, maybe I have enough, doctor. It makes no fucking sense. But whatever, whatever. I have my extra 200 bucks a month being fucking nuts and talking to him and he's a good guy like I can't fucking blame him for doing his job according to the manner that he's been told to do it right it's not a garbage bear I don't want to be carrying your shit around all over the place <coughs> oh so yeah I'm doing that I'm fucking And then we'll come back to this week. Just fucked. <sighs> so, come back to this week, and I'm finally like. How I got into this mess, yeah, civil servants and all this shit. So, I'm like. I'm just gonna start recording everything. Everything that happened. The fact of the matter is, if I had recorded. Everything that would ha had happened over the course of my apprenticeship, I wouldn't fucking be here right now. I would have got a settlement from the fucking province because you can't be breaking the law and ruining people's fucking lives after asking them to participate in a fucking program that's supposed to bring fucking economic stimulation. Like, seriously. And you get the fucking training and you find out that it's not worth anything. Because nothing is regulated to a point where you need to fucking have that kind of training. It's fucked. So I just like slowly... Well, I had slowly figured out just like what a fucking scam this province is. And it's crazy. I'm talking to people about it and they doubt it. And I'm like, no, dude. This is it. And you're giving sources. So I'm not the only one, but I am the only one who's fucked. <laughs> so I found out today, finally, after 10 years, that there's something called the ombudsman. I understand what an ombudsman is, but my point, province of Manitoba, why? After 10 years, my having to fucking go absolutely fucking insane, do I find out now that I need to go to talk to a fucking ombudsman? And at this point, the thought of going to talk to another fucking person about this? <laughs> like, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm here and I don't want to say what I'm going to fucking do. If I find out that I'm going to need a fucking lawyer past this ombudsman fucking appointment. <laughs> like, that's how seriously I'm thinking about it. And it's going to be fucking messy. I'm not fucking around. These people destroyed my life. And every couple few years, I find out that there's one more fucking, you know, there's one more detail that I should have been told that would have prevented this. And fucking... <sighs> just fucked yeah this is this is it though it's a shitty post but this is what I'm going through <laughs> 
feeling my brain come back together. It hurts. Like, it really fucking hurts. <coughs> feeling the different portions come back into fucking operation. Like, it hurts. <laughs> There's just shit nobody told me about. <sighs> Never would have happened if I hadn't signed up for that apprenticeship. If I'd just gone to university, none of this would have happened. You know why I didn't go to university, Tubes? I didn't go to university because I didn't want to take out a student loan that I possibly couldn't have repaid considering my heart was built to explode. That's right, I was looking forward to an operation on my fucking heart from pretty well the age of five. So like a responsible individual... I decided to not incur a fucking $40,000 fee that the government would have to pay back for me. Okay, that's me. Like, fuck you, pigs. Anyway, peace out, tubes.